thank you very much, everybody. I want to thank Bruce and all of the people that have worked so hard to make this area beautiful and safe. And this is what happened. It's such a sad, sad event, such a horrible thing. And it's happening all too often. And we're just not going to let it happen. We just can't. 21 times arrested this thug. And uh, the person in the car with him was arrested many times. And they don't learn because they don't respect. They don't, they're not given the respect. The police are the greatest people we have. There's nothing and there's nobody like them. And this should never happen. I just visited with a very beautiful wife that now doesn't have her husband. Stephanie was uh, just incredible. Their child, brand new, beautiful baby. So they're innocent as can be. Uh, doesn't know how his life has been changed. But uh, the Diller family will, you'll never be the same. You can never be the same. And we have to stop it. We have to stop it. We have to get back to law and order. We have to do a lot of things differently. But this is not working. This is happening too often. Uh, it's an honor to be here. And again, I want to just thank all of you folks for uh, allowing us to Bruce. Thank you. Bruce has been a friend of mine for a long time. He's done an incredible job out here. But uh, this is such a sad occasion. Uh, the only thing we can say is maybe something's going to be learned. We've got to toughen it up. We've got to strengthen it up. It should never be allowed. Things like this shouldn't take place and to take place so often. So thank you all for being here. It's an honor, and it's an honor for me to be here. This is a great family, the Diller family. I met the friends, and I met every one of them inside, and these are just incredible people that are just devastated. We've got to toughen it up. What do you We've got to have law and order. These things can't happen. We need law and order. This can't happen. Thank you very much. What changes would you make to prevent something like this?